All right, so now let's talk about these types of problems. So problem number two will be a 3D moment. Now, it might be moment by a point. It might be moment by an axis. So the first thing you need to do is read the problem statement carefully. Is this moment by a point or moment by an axis? If it's moment by a point, then it's moment equals r cross f. If this was moment by an axis, and I actually have used this exact same figure, but, but then changed it and asked, hey, what's the moment about the AB axis? If this was the moment about the AB axis, the first thing I would write down is the magnitude of the moment about the AB axis is u dot r cross f, right? It's u dot r cross f, uh, where u is the u of the axis. And then similarly, r needs to go from the axis to the force. From the axis to the force. And it's actually from anywhere on the axis to anywhere on the line of action of the force. So sometimes you have some options. For example, if this was finding the moment about the A, B axis, I could go from A to C or B to C. Uh, sometimes you know both ends of this force, and you could go from A to the end of the force, B to the end of the force. Sometimes you have four different options or more um, for that R. And it doesn't matter. R needs to go anywhere on the axis to anywhere on the force. Uh, so the difference here is you've got this U dotted with R cross F. So go back and look at all of the moment about an axis problems. Uh, so for moment about an axis, instead of the I, J, K across here, you've got the U, X, U, Y, U, U, Z. So here you've got the U, X, U, Y, U, Z. The big difference... <clears throat> This right here, the math gives you the magnitude. There are no more I's, J's, K's. Finding the moment, magnitude, the moment about an axis do, does just that, gives you the magnitude. Uh, it doesn't give you an I, J, K, it just gives you one value, and that's the magnitude of the moment about the A, B axis. Um, and so you wouldn't have these I's, J's, K's here. You would have a number, number, number here. And then you can add up all your values. But, but don't get that confused with this moment about a point. Uh, you do have the I's, J's, K's. Do not try to, please don't combine these I's, J's, K's. You can't combine I's, J's, K's um, if you're doing moment about a point. All right. Uh, and then the, the last thing, and we have a lot of examples, a lot of videos you can go back and watch. Uh, but the last thing is sometimes I ask for moment about a point but I ask for the total moment about a point. And so what happens is you, you calculate this magnitude, and then you've got one more step. Just like F equals FU, M equals MU. M equals MU. So you take that U that you found, and you multiply it times the U in order to get the total moment. That's moment about an axis. So, so don't, um, don't get these mixed up. Don't get these confused. But do be ready for either of them. Um, most times I'll switch up what I tested you on earlier with what I'm giving you on the final exam, but that's not a guarantee. Uh, be ready for either moment about a point or moment about an axis uh, for problem number two on the final.